You're listening to the Personal Development Through Martial Arts podcast, the podcast where the world's highest personal development experts and martial arts masters come together to empower and inspire you to become your strongest self and live the life that you truly want. Join host Bogdan Rosho, author, public speaker, and the founder of the first personal development through martial arts school in the world, in the podcast where you become the hero. Uh, so we're here with uh, my friend Florian Pusat. He's an awesome individual who teaches people how to better manage their personal finance. And I thought he would be a great, great guest for the personal development through martial arts podcast because like it or not money is part of our lives so we might might as well learn how to manage it Florin, how are you uh i'm fine thank you and thank you for um, this opportunity to speak in front of uh, your audience about uh, this important topic which is money money yep you're well you're very welcome um, tell us a bit about your story. You know, how did you start on this journey? Did you do something else before? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. So uh, my my story starts about let's say um, ten, fifteen years ago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I uh, um, I work. I used to be a. Um, um, Financial consultant. I used to sell uh, life insurance policies. Yeah. And uh, at, at one moment, I um, I found out that I have uh, teaching qualities, mm-hmm. so I applied for the trainer position yeah. in that company. Let me, let me just step in a bit and uh, just mention the fact that guys, uh, Florin he, Florin is doing me a favor, right? He's not. He doesn't really. Uh, do interviews in English. His stuff is mostly in Romania. Like he's uh, he's a big name in uh, in Romania in terms of personal development. So he's doing everyone a favor by uh, stepping a bit out of his comfort zone and doing this interview in English. So Florian, thank you so much for uh, for that. Okay. So um, um, yeah. At what moment I started a business in this um, field, financial field? Mm-hmm. And after after six months, I um, uh, I was on the top five mm-hmm. producer in that company. Mm. And uh, at that moment, I thought, "Wow, I my uh, dreams uh, came true." Right. So I have now the business uh, I wanted, and uh, I start look. I started to look for. Um, Holidays, you know. For holidays, right, right. Yes, yes. I, I thought to myself, wow, I am now in. Uh, I made it. Financial comfort, so let's look for uh, exotic places. Mm. But it uh, wasn't like that because uh, uh, one year, one year after I uh, was in top five producer, I uh, go bankrupt. Wow. And the amount of money I owned to my uh, relatives and to the bank uh, was more than 50,000 euros. Wow. Uh, I, I know the, the exact amount because when I start counting my debts, when I reach 50,000 euro, I got scared and I say, let's not find out all the amount because all the it's month. scary. But how did you how did you um, accumulate so much debt? I mean, you're making a lot of money, weren't you? Yes, yes. Uh, because uh, uh, with one moment, my business uh, uh, stopped generating the monthly income to uh, pay my rent, to pay uh, my see. employees, to pay all the the things I I, I had to pay. So in one um, in one year, month by month, I accumulated all those debts. And uh, in addition, I, I had my personal uh, expenses, you know, mm-hmm. my uh, f- with, with my family. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. All that summed up. And um, at that moment, I uh, when, when it was clear uh, that uh, I will go bankrupt, I asked myself how... Uh, I got here because I used to be a trainer 
So all, all the, the strategies that I applied in my business, I used to teach. Right. So I, I am a background in management. I, 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 so, sorry, I have a background in, the man, in, man, in management. I have a background in sales. Mm -hmm. I teach those strategy, how to sell, how to manage your business. And all the people I teach, by applying these uh, particular strategies, they made a lot of money. Right. On the other hand, I lost a lot of money, money in the same economic context, in the same political context, in the same market. Very interesting. The, the big, the big uh, question was, what the heck is going on? Right, right, right. <laughs> and at, at that moment, start my journey uh, and uh, to find what happened and make the, short, the story short. I discovered that not your action, but your subconscious mind run your reality. Mm. Because you can do the same action that a um, successful, successful person does. Right. But if you don't have the, the same mindset, mm -hmm. you will fail in the same condition that person will succeed. That is so powerful. It's true. It's true. It's yeah. the same like yeah. like for example, um, because we're like in this in, in a martial arts context, like boxers, for example, you have the same motions, right? The same actions, but one yes. is a champion and the other one, you know, can't really make it work. Yeah, absolutely. I, I absolutely agree. So how did you shift your mindset and uh, what what did you find were like the the keys? to, to uh, having so, a successful um, mindset? It, 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 it took me about five years to figure out that mm -hmm. and, and also to figure what uh, techniques uh, do I have to apply in my life in order to change that uh, subconscious mind. I love it. So to put the things in, in, in a model because we, um, we work better if you have the model, mm -hmm. in our life, it's run by what it's called our uh, beliefs. Right. And beliefs are not right or wrong, mm -hmm. are not true or false. The, the, the beliefs are uh, supportive or non-supportive. Okay. For, ex for example, uh, speaking about money, if you have a belief which said um, rich people are greedy, right. no matter how uh, money you will make, you will um, you lose it. manage to lose it. Mm -hmm. You will attract in your life um, expenses or situation uh, that you uh, you get rid of the money. Yeah. Why? Because you don't be perceived as a greedy person. And if in your mind money equal greedy, what? Which is the the simple way to not be greedy? To not no, to have money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. And this is what I call a uh, non-supportive belief. On the other hand, the supportive beliefs, it's uh, rich people are generous. Generous. Mm -hmm. Rich people are um, caring for others. And when people uh, hear rich people are generous, they say, don't, this is not true. Hey, I did, I say the beliefs are not true or false. Mm. are supportive or not, or not supportive. supportive and it's also is it like do you find that whatever you say that is true you find true to you it's going to be your truth and uh, you know like um if you say rich people are generous and you truly believe it then it's going to be the truth for you <clears throat> you're going to find more generous people around you um there is an interesting there is an interesting thing about these beliefs. You know, our our mind, according with this model, I I, uh, I speak. Mm -hmm. Our mind has two parts: the conscious mind right. and the subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. The interesting is that at conscious mind, at conscious level, you are agree that rich people are generous, generous. because mm -hmm. you find evidence yeah. about yeah. it. But if at the subconscious level you think rich people are greedy, not your conscious belief will run your uh, daily life, but mm -hmm. your subconscious belief. And this is the challenge. 
uh, because there are a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot of people who are not aware of that subconscious belief. At the conscious level, they think, no, I don't have this subconscious belief. Yeah. I have this um, supportive one, but if in your life the results are you are not um, you th the money is not in your bank account, that means that in in your subconscious mind there is a non-supportive beliefs, mm -hmm. and there are hundreds hundreds of that of non-supportive. For example, you can be rich and can be happy in the same time either money or love or things right, like that right 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 absolutely and this concept that money changes you right i i think that money is like it's it's similar to being better at martial arts it's not that it changes you it's it's just that it shows who you really are i mean if, if yes if you're like generous then with more money you're going to be more yes. generous right and uh it's the same if you're egotistic then with more money then just just gonna show that side of yourself. Basically, if in your subconscious mind money are associated with uh, some kind of pain, mm -hmm. it, it does, doesn't matter what what pain. It could be uh, emotional pain or physical mm -hmm. pain. Mm -hmm. For example, um, uh, if you saw your parents arguing for money, yeah, maybe in your mind it says money equal arguing with your partner or mm. want love. So in order to have love, you have get rid of the money. Get and rid of the money. Or for example, if you're a spiritual person and in your mind, money, it's not spiritual, yeah. you, will, you, will, you will not uh, make money. Or that is so powerful. make it, you will lose it. You know what? Actually, uh, I have a confession to make, you know, for everyone listening and also for, for you, right? Um, so I started doing this business course, but I think it was a, also a consequence of me changing a bit my um, my subconscious pattern, right? So I'm, I'm doing this business course right now, right? And in just a few days, my perspective changed completely. I feel like I'm, I'm a totally different person, right? Because like, like I changed or so, stuff like that. In, in which way? So um, what I noticed, what, what I was avoiding all these years was knowing what my costs are right my living costs my business costs so just just you know just flying by the seat of my pants so i've been doing this since two, since 2013 right and for four years of running a martial arts school i never knew exactly what my costs are right and and i never knew exactly how many students i had you know how much they were paying and because like in thinking about it right now, it was like, okay, looking at the list, I say, okay, my, my God, I need new, new students or, uh, you know, it's just like so much, so, so much emotion entangled to it. And I sat down during this weekend for the first time in my life, I did a financial projections for, for the year, right? And guys, for, for you guys listening to the podcast who that cannot see us, Florin is smiling. He has such a huge smile right now. He's so happy about, about this whole process. I love it. Um, and um, yeah, and, and I checked, you know, my I finally know exactly what my living costs are. And I know what I need to do to cover those costs and make a profit. And then after you make the profit, I can choose where I want to reinvest that profit. So it, it's, it's, it's totally different, totally different, you know? Um, and I don't know, what do you feel about it? Like, do, did you have cases like this? Where, where do changes like this come from, um, from your experience? And how can people enable uh, you know, not not being afraid of the numbers and their their finances. Um, you know, T. Harv Vecker, the author of the um, Millionaire uh, Mindset Mindset book, yeah. Yeah. said, "To make money, it's one business. Yeah, to keep, keep the, the money, money, it's a totally different yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so there are there are actually two two direction uh, that." everybody uh, should train on one it's to make business yeah uh, to make sorry one is to make money yeah yeah the other one it's to manage the money 
Mm-hmm. And there are uh, specific tools, there are specific strategies, but as we agree, even though you uh, do all those strategies, if yeah. you don't have the right mindset, in the end, doing the same step, we will lose that money. Yes. So th- that's why I, I, I say that, that I uh, said that everybody should um, go on the mindset and in the strategies. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, you know, there are people who do the strategies, but the do- they don't pay attention to, to their beliefs, to their subconscious mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the other hand, there are people who say, oh, just visualize, just do mudras, just pray and... I money will show up, right? Do, do things and the money will appear. It's not true. I, um, I, I was in that trap when I, in, the, in those five years, I told you I, I study all, all the, the yeah. things about money, about subconscious mind. And at, 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 at one moment, I thought to myself, oh, if I visualize clients staying in the line with a pen in one hand and with their uh, card in the other hand, right. asking me, what do I have to sign? And feeling good about it. At I, I did this for two weeks, but at the end of the two weeks, no, no <laughs> <laughs> So I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? No way. And um, I... I it's okay to do visualization. It's okay to do other uh, techniques to change your mindset. But in the same time, uh, you have to do actions in mm-hmm. the real world. Mm-hmm. Call the clients, take your... Um, yeah. uh, I was, oh, oh, I was oh, really good. I was really good at taking action, but the f- problem was that I, I was spending close to... I was spending everything I was making or uh, sometimes even more than I was making just because I didn't know what I was making, right? Just because I didn't plan for the months, mm-hmm. the, the, for the low months in the year, right? And it was, it was always taking me by surprise. And, and to me, like, taking action wasn't a problem. The problem was that I was taking too much action in, in too many directions, right? I had no, um, no clarity, so in, in, in situation in situation like this, I um, recommend uh, a coach. Mm-hmm. So the, people always ask uh, asking me if you have just one advice, one single advice to mm-hmm. give to the to listeners. What is that? And my in that situation, my advice is take a coach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you, if you uh, want to start a, a business, mm-hmm. look in your industry, look for the one who has the same business, mm-hmm. who runs the same business uh, as you want to run, and okay. ask them to coach you. Coach, yeah. If you want financial uh, let's not say financial independence, but financial relaxation. Mm, <laughs> if yes. you want to be okay with your money, yes. search for a money coach mm-hmm. because there are simple things that you are not aware of. If I want to, uh, if I want to uh, improve my life through martial arts, which I will call Bogdan, of course, because Bogdan improved his life with Arshal Mart. I can, uh, I can search on YouTube and for sure I will find videos which will teach me how to improve my life with um, martial arts. But I think there is a, a chance, a great chance to hurt myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doing martial arts. Yeah. Okay, and what I uh, what I uh, uh, found out is that the things that are hurting you are small things, mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. you are not aware of, uh, things that uh, books and videos don't talk about yes. because they are too small. To what are to what be are those small things? Yes. What are those small things that are hurting us? 
for example, in uh, uh, in this field of money, uh, do not pay attention to the small um, expenses, expenses like mm-hmm. the cost. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I start ma- um, managing my money, yeah. And I start to write down all my expenses. Mm-hmm. I found out that I uh, buy uh, a sandwich and yeah. a beer a day. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the month, uh, three euros the sandwich. Yeah. And one euro the, the beer. beer. Mm-hmm. It means four euros multiplied by. Um, 30 it yeah. means 120 20 euros, euros right month. That you could be doing you could be using for something else right yeah, yeah, yeah that i can use for 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 something else and the interesting thing that uh, there is a thing called uh compound interest, in, uh, mm-hmm. interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you put a little sum of money like 100 euro in a side a, in, in a uh, com, uh, compound interest, interest mm-hmm. you will see that in a year or two or three, that that will be a huge, huge, Amount huge of money. difference in your finances. I love that. I love that. You know, when I when I came to your um, event and um, you talked about this um, the same concept of you know tracking tracking your finances, you know, using like an app to do so. I, I tried it. Right. I I, I did. Uh, I posted my uh, my expenses on an app, but it just became so freaking boring. I said, what am I doing, you know? And then like after like maybe a week, less than a week, I just stopped, right? So what, you know, I think most of us know that it's important to measure whatever you're spending, but what actually motivates uh, someone to do so? Uh, this is a great question. In, in my workshop, I uh, teach people to start with the end in mind, Mm. to set an intention. Mm -hmm. And after they set their intention to make a list with 10 benefit for them Mm -hmm. by reaching that intention. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these benefits to uh, flip into uh, pain. To pain, okay. If they they don't. They will suffer if the intention is not reached. I see. Because we have, we have just, uh, as a human beings, we have just two, two external motivation, mm-hmm. the desire to reach pleasure and the desire to avoid pain. Mm-hmm. So if, and we need to, to use them both. And more than that, after I list 10 benefits for me, I have to list 10 benefits for the others around me, my family, my community, uh, my colleagues, because if you have if you have benefits just for you, it means yeah that you are uh, the English word for egoist um, egocentric egocentric yeah yes if the benefits are just for you you are egocentric and the universe does not support the egocentric people mm, interesting yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 on the other hand there are people who say I work for I I want others to be happy mm-hmm. so i'm not taking anything for me i'm not keeping anything from me i want others to be happy if you are just for others 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 yeah I will, use a metaphor, I will use a metaphor which in psychology it's called the inner child metaphor mm-hmm. all, all of us have an inner child who right. wants attention who wants uh, care yes. and you, when you are just for others this inner child suffer mm-hmm. and this inner child will start to sabotage you in order to get your attention. Mm. You have to be balanced. Yeah, 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 yeah. Benefits for and, you and benefits for others. And if so, uh, uh, to, uh, to make the point, if these benefits are not strong enough, mm-hmm. you will not do your daily routine. Like in, in, martial, in martial arts, you... you, you you know better that if you have to, to, to repeat hundreds and hundreds of times the same movement, the same, uh, what yep. do you call it? Technique. Technique, in order to, for this technique to, 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 to have its effect. It's the same in the daily life. You mean I can download an app and uh, I can and know Kung Fu immediately? 
<laughs> I have to work for it. I don't believe yes. it. <laughs> yes. Awesome. And yeah. if you don't have if you don't have enough benefits to know kung fu, you will not do you the, do the daily uh, routine. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and something for everyone who's like into spirituality and uh, you know this, this idea of oneness. If you agree that you know we're all part of something bigger, of one and the same, right? By not taking care of yourself financially, emotionally, uh, physically, so on and so forth, you are not taking care of others. So even though you're like in, in the space of I want to help other people and love other people and blah, 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 because you actually need love and uh, help yourself, right? And you're just focusing on, on the external, right? You're missing out on the internal and you're still not yeah. helping other people, right? You need to go with yeah. both, right? Yeah, yeah, you have to balance mm. one, one word that uh, runs my life it's balance. balance always i pay attention if i balance me and the others uh, the, uh, the personal and things with uh, business and things have a, have a good my balance health, sheet uh, it's okay to have money but uh, if in order to make money you lose your health or you lose your relationship it doesn't, it doesn't have work. any sense so i pay attention to balance my money my relationships with my and health and the balance sheet at the end of the month, right? The financial balance sheet <laughs> too. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, Florian, what can we do to have better uh, relationship with uh, with money and abundance? What is something that everyone listening in can do right now that will make a positive impact? Um, for I think first thing that people um, have to have in mind it's to change the perspective about money mm -hmm. because uh, money sometimes money are um, the root of all evil mm. <laughs> sometimes the money makes people greedy and when you have all those Beliefs. ideas all those beliefs in your mind there is no way to make peace with money. <laughs> money will be your enemy. Mm. It, How do you change them, actually? What do you do to change them? Uh, there is speci specific techniques that I uh, teach people in my workshop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One I um, I am fan of, it's called EFT. Yeah, I was, I was, I was sure that you are going to mention EFT. Yes, yeah, emotional, yeah, yeah. emotional freedom technique. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, 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 but first... Uh, T. Harvecker sa says first step in uh, change things it's the awareness. Mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. first step is to be aware of your beliefs. Awesome. And um, one way to do this is to pay attention to your speak. Yeah, yeah. If you if you cut yourself saying money are the root of all evil. We're or thinking it, money, right? Money, it's not enough. If you say money, it's not enough, it mm -hmm. means this is your belief and no matter how money you will make, yeah, it yeah. will be not enough. And after Yeah, that's that, a great point. That's a great point. Yeah, exactly. That's a great point when you're saying that, yeah, money is not enough no matter how much money you make, it's never going to be enough. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and people say, and people say, I say money is not enough mm -hmm. because this is my reality. Actually, it's the other way, way around. around. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you think the money is not enough, this this thought, this belief creates your reality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And and if it's useful for your uh, for uh, your um, followers, I can uh, send you on uh, a list with uh, non-supportive beliefs and their opposite, the supportive that would, beliefs. That would be super helpful, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably post it in the description if, mm -hmm. um, if we can do that. So yeah, guys, check check the description for uh, for the list and uh, let us know what you think. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the things that I loved from teaching, from uh, reading Robert Kiyosaki's books, right, was this idea that his uh, rich dad, you know, the rich dad, poor yeah, dad, yeah. Um, he said that, you know, never say I can't afford it. And instead of saying I can't afford it, ask yourself, how can I afford it, right? So you, you're becoming really proactive. Yeah, I, guys, I just, I just did a video yesterday. I uploaded a video um, the other day on how 
by changing your language, you actually become a different person. So just by taking out the but in in uh, in your vocabulary, you you totally change yourself. Now imagine if you started saying instead of um, money is not enough, what what could people say, Florin? Um, they uh, could say um, I I have all, all the time. I have extra money. Mm. Or uh, but what if they don't? It's enough. What if they or, don't have extra money? Like, what could they say if you actually believe it? Um, they they could uh, start thinking how, mm -hmm. what, in which way I can produce more money mm -hmm. and I can make more money. And this is another important question. People ask me, how can I make more money? Yeah. Or this is the wrong question. Mm. <laughs> You know, when you ask yourself a question, your mind starts to search answers, answers yeah, like Google, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you ask yourself, how uh, can I make more money? Your mind will come with answers like married with a rich person, uh, steal from someone who has money, <laughs> uh, yes. and, and things like that. The, the right the right uh, question is how can I bring more value to people's life? Love that. Because money will be in your life if you bring value. with the value you bring in people's life. I love that. That's so actually super powerful. How yes. can I bring more value in people's life? And money will come. I love that. I love that. Yeah, guys. Let's see. Um, I think I'll... That's a great, great question to, to ask, you know. Awesome. Florin, where can people get in touch with you and ask you more questions? So, um, I have um, uh, my, my site in Romanian. It's Atragia uh, Abundanza. Yeah, but I think, I think they'll probably want to uh, connect with you over like an English medium. Like, uh, can they find you on Facebook or... Um, uh, they they can uh, write me in English on my uh, email address that I will I will send to you. Yes. Uh, they can uh, find about me. I wrote the book. It's it's called um, Wow, wow now. And the awesome. book is on Amazon. And if they search on Amazon about Wow Now book, they will um, find the book, and they can awesome. email me. Awesome, guys. I'll post the uh, email address and uh, where you can connect with Florin and also where you can find his book. Um, I would, if I were you, I would absolutely reach out to him. Um, he's been helping thousands of people in Romania with, uh, with um, you know, in terms of finance, in terms of um, building more abundance in their lives and just being, you know, leading happier lives. Um, and I'm a, I'm actually a fan of his, you know. And to be honest, look, I'll be I'll be frank with you. When I started out my uh, personal development journey here in Romania, I started teaching uh, martial arts and personal development. I was looking at you and your brother, who you guys were doing so many events uh, around the uh, around the country, and I was like, oh my god, these these guys are so cool. I wish I could do that one day, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You guys were, you know, were kind of a, you know, an example, an inspiration, and thank you for that. Interesting. Awesome, awesome. Um, Florin, one question for all the listeners: What would you like to ask everyone? Ask the me. Ask yeah, them. yeah. So choose like one question that you'd like people to answer in the comment section. What is their intention in, ter in terms of money? What is their mm. terms of money? What they want? They want to be financially, uh, to have financial independence. Mm -hmm. They want to have a paycheck from yeah. a company. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. want to start yeah. a business. When, you know, everything in, in life, uh, um, has to have a, a, a purpose, including money. So mm -hmm. if you want to make money or to have more money, first thing you have to do is to have an intention about what amount, what business do you want, something like this. I love that. I love that. So what is your intention, guys, with, with money? If you had the money that you 
let's say won it, right? What would you do with it? Let's let us know in the comment section. Awesome, Florian. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Awesome, guys. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, um, use this information and make your life a meaningful, memorable experience. Bye bye. Okay guys, thank you so much for listening in. I hope this was super valuable for you. And also to get notified every time I post a new video on this YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to have unstoppable self-confidence without seeming arrogant, there's a link in the description where you can download the free report. And if you want me to personally help you with your martial arts training so that you get more speed, power, precision, stability, and have a deeper understanding of your body, you go ahead and you check the link for our online academy, which you will find, of course, in the description. And please go ahead and give us a rating on iTunes. It does help and it is very much appreciated. I'll see you next time.